You know, people, there are a lot of different ways to prepare lasagna. One famous Italian chef has a collection of, get this, over 22,000 different recipes for how to cook lasagna. And they're all good. Some recipes contain layered noodles, cheese, tomato sauce, and onion. And sausage, don't forget sausage. Lots and lots of sausage. And of course, lots and lots of sausage. <sighs> No, I will not throw the stick so you can fetch it. Repeat, no, not. No, can you not get the concept of no through that dense doggy skull of yours? I am not throwing the stick so you can fetch it. I am never throwing the stick so you can fetch it. No. Never, never, never. I love Donna never. Never! And that's how we fold in the ricotta cheese. Oh, that dog made me miss the ricotta cheese. That's the best part. Hey, any part that involves cheese is the best part. Mm. Huh? Arbuckle, phone! No, I'm just sitting here drawing, Liz. Why? There's a TV show on right now I think you'll want to see. Oh, I don't have time right now. I have a deadline, and Drusilla and Minerva are coming over, and it's then I'm gonna... It's all about the Zabadoo. The Zabadoo? Down in Franistan? As far as I know, there's only one Zabadoo, and it's in Franistan. I'll turn it on right now. Thanks, Liz. <sighs> now, we layer the lasagna noodles in a crisscross pattern. <sighs> I don't know why you people are watching me when there's wonderful programming like this on. Sorry, Garfield. There's a very important show on that I have to see. There are fascinating things to do and <laughs> You know, people, <gasps> places to go. There are a lot of different <sighs> ways to prepare <laughs> 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 All right, Garfield. I didn't want to resort to this, but you're forcing me to use my secret weapon. Nothing will stop me from watching my favorite program. Ahem. Minerva and Drusilla are coming by. Minerva and Drusilla? <gasps> I hated to do it, but I have to see this documentary. There are fascinating things to do and many interesting <gasps> places to go in Afghanistan, but the jungles are filled with monsters and great danger. None of which are as scary as Minerva and Drusilla. <laughs> if anyone needs me, I'll be under here for the rest of my life. <laughs> the most famous mysterious creature in this country is known as the Zabadoo. Few have seen this elusive mm -hmm. beast, but those who have will never forget <laughs> him. Uh, we went out in the jungle, figured maybe do a little hunting, and we saw him, ten feet tall, all covered with hair. <laughs> and you're sure it was the Zabadoo? Well, either him or this girl I took to my senior prom. It, it was like he was protecting the animals in that area, but I didn't stick around to watch. He was this huge, slobbery monster. And you're certain this was the Zabadoo? Well, either him or the guy who took me to my senior prom. Only one crew has ever been able to film these Zabadoo. We'll show you that rare footage later in this show. But it inspired Ooh. one man to travel here to Franistan. Dirk Dinkum, the most famous adventurer in Australia. They say he's never met the man or beast that he couldn't track or take. Uncle John! People are afraid something awful. This thing called the Zabadoo. Well, I'm here to stop that fear. I'm going <laughs> into the jungle, and I'm not coming out without the Zabadoo, dead or alive. Uncle John? Uh, go play with the kitty. He's probably upstairs hiding under the bed. Kitty hat! <laughs> Afraid of? It's just two little girls. Am I gonna spend the rest of my life under here hiding from two little girls? No! I'm not gonna spend the rest of my life hiding from two little girls. What can they do to me? Kitty <sighs> We're about to find out. I want to love you. I want to do it. 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 I want
But it was either him or me, and I prefer it be him. Eh. Dirk Dinkum has never failed yeah. yet on a mission. Can the famed adventurer Dirk Dinkum succeed where others have failed? Can he find the elusive Zebedoo? If I can't, nobody can. But I can. Dirk Dinkum never fails. Hi, Uncle John. <laughs> What are you watching? Uh, just a second, please. As I said, only one person has ever shot video of the mysterious Zabadoo. We'll show it to you right after we make you sit through about <laughs> 900 commercials. Folks, I It's a documentary about a creature in Franistan called the Zabadoo. The Zabadoo? He's that monster nobody oh. hardly ever sees. Hmm. Yes, well, I have a special interest in him because... Oh! oh. Hmm. oh. Uh, yeah. Well, I had this friend once, my closest friend, in fact. He went down there to try and photograph the Zabadoo. Wow! That's dangerous. I'll say. I... I never saw him again. Oh, that's awful. It sure is. His name was Lyman. <laughs> Lyman knew Odie? Lyman used to own Odie. Come on, we'll have milk and cookies and I'll tell you yes. all about him. No. I thought you owned Odie. Well, I do now, I guess. You see, Lyman was my roommate. He was a great guy, really loved animals. I knew him back when I was in high school. Then I didn't see him for a while until one day. <gasps> Gee, I wonder who that could be. Hopefully someone delivering pizza. <clears throat> Lyman! John, great hey. to see you. You haven't changed a bit, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> John, I need a place to stay. I'm cold, I'm hungry, I'm weak. Take me in. Sure, Lyman. You know my home is your home. But my sandbox is off limits. Is that all you have? The one suitcase? Just that, and my friend. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not 100% certain, but uh, <laughs> it could be a dog. <laughs> It took a while for Garfield to accept the concept that he'd be sharing his living space with a puppy. But eventually he came to accept it. Slowly but surely, Garfield realized that it can be nice to have a dog around the house. Huh? Look at that poor and dignified mutt. All slobbery and mindless. It's just disgusting. Oh dear, you're so cute. Have a steak. Oh wow. Yep, 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 yep. It turned out Lyman was a pretty good photographer. He took some great mm. pictures of Garfield. <laughs> now look this way and say, lasagna. <laughs> Lyman, why do all the photos you take of Garfield have him either eating or sleeping? Oh. Um, <sighs> uh, forget I asked that question. It's forgotten. <laughs> Finally, one day Lyman got a job. He was going to go far, far away to Franistan to try and photograph the Zabadoo. You think there really is a creature like the Zabadoo? For what they're paying me, I'll bring back a picture of King Kong disco dancing with Godzilla. Anyway, take huh? care of Odie while I'm gone. No, <laughs> I can't take you with me, boy. You stay here and do everything John tells you. John, tell him to live somewhere else. Here, 
I want you to wear my lucky hat, which you hate. If you're lucky, I won't bring it back. Oh, but thanks. So we went out and headed for the airport. And, well, that was the last time we saw him. They called and said nobody could find him. He went off on his own into the jungle to try and get a picture of the Zabadoo and... Wasn't that TV <gasps> program going to show us a photo? It was a video someone else managed to get of the Zabadoo. Come on! <laughs> Camera crew from France spent weeks trying to get video of the mysterious creature known as the Zabadoo. Here, as we promised you, is the few seconds they were able to get. Wow. That's the Zabadoo! Oh. I can't see him. Do you think your friend ran into that monster? Mm, I doubt it. I'm not even sure there really is such a creature. But if there were, huh? Lyman probably never... I see him! I see him too! Oh. Uncle John, is that anything like the hat you gave your friend Lyman? That is the hat I gave my friend Lyman. Now you say you've heard that the Zabadoo may be holding some human beings captive in his lair? That's the rumor. And if he is, I aim to go in and rescue them. For a prize. What does it mean? It might mean there's a chance Lyman is alive and being held prisoner by... a monster. We'll be back with more right after this commercial. Boy, is this ever a rotten time for a commercial. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mysterious creature in this country is known as the Zabadoo. <laughs> I had this friend once, my closest friend, in fact. You think there really is a creature like the Zabadoo? I never saw him again. Now you say you've heard that the Zabadoo wow. may be holding some human beings captive in his lair? It might mean there's a chance Lyman is alive and being held prisoner by a monster. It's unbelievable. Lyman has been missing all these years. Everyone thought he was gone for good. And now that, that monster over in Franistan is wearing my hat. Looks better on him than it did on you. The hat I gave Lyman. Do you think your friend could still be alive? Do you think he's being held prisoner by the Zabadoo? I don't know. I don't know what to do about this. John, not knowing what to do about something? Whoa, there's a novelty. Priscilla, Minerva, I'm going to drive you two home. I have to put huh? all my attention on this. Okay, Uncle John, we understand. Hmm. This is a baffling mystery and a matter of life and death. At a moment like this, there's only one thing to do. And of course, some people like mushrooms in their lasagna. Oh, that is so wrong. They take up so much space it could be occupied by sausage. Well, at least I got out of it without those twins dressing me up in some silly outfit. <laughs> Why did I have to say that? Okay, get it over with. Make him look all pretty. The middle. What size are you doing? We, we look should take so him to good a smart color. Uh -huh. He looks huh? adorable. Here, Garfield, see how good you look well, now. You know, they're annoying, but they are right. I do look kind of fabulous. Oh. 
How does he expect me to get my usual 14 hours of sleep if he's gonna do that all night? Oh, hey, I know you're thinking about Lyman, but oh, could you hold it down a bit? Huh? On behalf of all your mice, I was about to suggest the same thing. Aww. I've been listening to the whole story about this fella Lyman and the monster called the... Zabadoo. What? I don't know why they named it that either. You gotta go rescue that poor guy. <laughs> hmm. Me? Go to Franistan? And battle a monster? Hey, why not? I could be a hero like that one I like in the movie. Oh, no. Of course, I'll need to dress like an adventurer. There, how do you like my adventurer outfit? Huh? Uh, Garfield, we don't see anything. Come on, use your imaginations. Call me Muncie Smith, bravest of the brave. I'm off to Franistan to rescue Lyman. Now, how am I gonna get there? <gasps> I know. <laughs> this will be my airplane. Stand back. I'd better make this an airstrip. <laughs> ah, better. Hey, Garfield, <laughs> wait! Take us with you. Why not? <laughs> Hop in. Yes. I am the Cha Cha Cat. <laughs> I like to dance, although I'm fat. Stand in this fantasy of yours. I know a shortcut. It's a little out of the way, but it'll get us there fast. I like to dance, although I'm fat. I like to move, ain't that a fact? Come dance and sing along. Having fun is never wrong. In a palace or a shack. Wow, I think we've arrived. We have. The last sighting of the Zabadoo was right about here. <laughs> All right, we have to find the Zabadoo. I love fantasy sequences. Mm. Hmm. Well, huh? 
Marty! <laughs> Garfield! <laughs> what's going on in here? What? Uh, Oops, we woke John up. That's my cue to disappear, too. It's so noisy with Odie howling, and I thought I heard an airplane. Boy, I have noisy fantasy sequences. Odie, you look so sad. You've been thinking about Lyman, right? Yeah, me too. I was thinking, you know... There's really nothing we can do. But then I thought, huh? if there's even a chance Lyman is alive, we have to try and rescue him. Oops. Garfield, are you worried? You know, this could be dangerous. Am I worried? Am I worried? <sighs> is this going to be another fantasy sequence? Nope. In that case, yes, I am worried. <laughs> Come on, guys! Liz is going to drive us to the airport! <laughs> what do you got in this thing, Garfield? Snacks. Snacks? You need this many snacks for the trip to Franistan? Come on! Come on! Oh. What do you mean, Franistan? These are for the trip to the airport. Uh, huh? <laughs> Goodbye. Don't forget to ride. We'll take good care of the house while you're gone. Are we really going to take good care of the house while they're gone? Uh, no. Oh, party! Life for my Where the Zabadoo lives is about a hundred miles from the airport. Huh? Ladies and gentlemen, oh. the pilot is making his approach to Franistan Airport. Please make sure your tray tables and pussycat are in the upright position. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've arranged for a local guide to drive us there. They say she knows all about this area and all about the Zabadoo. Her name is um, Angie. Wait up! Just stop so I can talk to you. I don't work for you anymore, Dirk. You never told me why you quit. Because you're not exploring and adventuring to help people, or even animals. Oh, again with the animals! You're a you... nasty man, and all you care about is money. Something wrong with money? Buckley, explain it to her. This is Buckley. He has your old job assisting me. Pleasure to meet you, Angie. Yeah, <clears throat> money is a good thing. I know. I have to go earn some of it. I'm guiding a man named Arbuckle who's got a lead on the Zabadoo. What's she got against money? I don't know. Maybe I should have paid her <gasps> some. Listen, whoever this Arbuckle bloke is, if he's got a lead on the Zabadoo, <laughs> we need to follow them. <laughs> You must be Mr. Arbuckle. And you must be Angie. And you must be Garfield. And you must be Odie. And I must be hungry. Come on, Odie.
most famous mysterious creature in this country is known as the Zabadoo. You think there really is a creature like the Zabadoo? I never saw him again. Do you think your friend could still be alive? Do you think he's being held prisoner by the Zabadoo? You gotta go rescue that poor guy. Me? I've arranged for a local guy to drive us there. Her name is... Um, Angie. I was so excited when I heard you had a lead on how to locate the Zabadoo. Well, it may not work, but it's worth a try. <sighs> ah, buckle, right? Oh. Name's Dirk Dinkin, world famous explorer. Oh, hi! I saw you on TV. <laughs> Everyone does. Just wanted to warn you. The Zabadoo's mine, you got that? Get in my way of getting it, and you'll be right sorry. Mm. Watch this, Odie. John, the quivering tower of gelatin, will back right down. Get in my way and you'll be sorry, Dinkum. You've been won. <laughs> when did John grow a spine? When he realized his friend Lyman might be in trouble, that's when... Don't pay any attention to him. Oh, I won't. Where's your car parked? It's an all-terrain vehicle, and it's parked right out at the curb. <laughs> it's right over there. And as we planned, I'm gonna take you straight out to the jungle. Just what I want. I want to be home. I want to be home. <laughs> I did like you said, Dirk. Now explain. Why did you want me to hide my cell phone in Angie's vehicle? Your cell phone's got an app on it so you can track it if it gets lost, right? Right. Well then, we can track it on my cell phone. And wherever they go, we'll know right where they are. If anybody's gonna find the Zabadoo and get rich and famous off it, it's gonna be Dirk Dinkum. You think of everything, Dirk. <laughs> we have 10,000 acres of jungle, but people have only reported sightings of the Zabadoo in one small area. Take us there, and then I'll show you the way I think we might be able to locate that creature. <laughs> that must be your cell phone. Put it back where you found it. You think it's true that this Zabadoo monster is holding some human beings as prisoners? I don't even know if it's true there's such a thing as a Zabadoo. And if the reports are true, I'm not sure it's really a monster. Now, don't get separated. And let's not get too far away from my vehicle. Wow, we're like out here in the middle of nowhere. I wonder if there's a good pizzeria around here? Hey, what kind of bird are you? Ah! I'm a Franistanian mockingbird. What does a Franistanian mockingbird do? What does a Franistanian mockingbird do? Whoa, that's not bad. Whoa, that's not bad. Okay, you can knock it off now. Okay, what? you can knock it off now. Hey, look, I'm getting really fed up with this. Hey, look, I'm getting really fed up with this. Hmm. Garfield the cat is the greatest creature on the entire planet, and everyone should give him lots of food and money. <laughs> I'm sorry, we're not allowed to lie like that. Ah! I'm sorry, we're not allowed to lie like that. Hey, that's not bad. Hey, that's not bad. Okay, you can knock it off now. Okay, you can knock it off now. <laughs> So what's this special way you have of trying to find the Zabadoo? That's it right there. Odie, he's got a terrific nose. But how does he know what the Zabadoo smells like? He doesn't, but he remembers what his first owner smelled like, and the Zabadoo may be holding his first owner prisoner. Worth a try, I guess. Hey. Up ahead is an area where the Zabadoo has been sighted. See those hunters oh. over there? They shouldn't be here. This is a protected area. 
No hunting is allowed. The animals around here are mostly endangered, species that could become extinct if they aren't allowed to breed. She means there aren't a lot of them around and we need to make more. So this is where the Zabadu usually shows up? Exactly. When hunters are trespassing, he seems to just... Here he comes. Now watch. What's that noise? Could it be the Zabadu? Ah, don't be silly. The Zabadu is a fairy tale. There's no such thing as... Well, we won't see them around here again. There it goes. Maybe we could follow it back to its lair, wherever it might be holding prisoners. The thing is, it only seems to terrorize people who are hunting illegally. I'm guessing that's what your friend Lyman was doing. Lyman hunting? No way. You never know. I know Lyman and how much he loved animals. We lived together for years and I couldn't get him to kill a cockroach. What do you smell, Odie? Pizza? <clears throat> Tacos? <laughs> Liming? <gasps> Odie, come back here! I usually don't run when there's no pizza or tacos, but in this case... <laughs> this is the way this avenue went. Odie! I think he went up that path. Odi! There's a path down into the canyon. This way. Boy, these extra long episodes can really wear you out. Odie, no! Don't go near it! Stay away from the Zabadu! Odie doing something dumb? What are the odds of that? Odie? How does the Zabadu know Odie's name? Maybe he's a big fan of this show? He knows because he's Lyman. John, great to see you. You haven't changed a bit, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> I've missed you too, boy. So, Angie, oh. it's nice to meet you. Great. But could you explain what you're doing in that costume? I thought you were a photographer. I gave it up. Huh? I have a new job now. What's that? I'm the Zabadoo. Oh. Boy, I can't wait to hear this explanation. Master Buckley! We gotta get to the Zabadoo before that arbuckle out. Oh, I'm trying, mate, but the road here's a mite bumpy on account of there's no road. According to this, your cell phone and therefore their vehicle is about two kilometers down this here road. Oh, 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 I keep telling you, think them there's no road here. Take driving. I'll have me a little look, see.
But why didn't you write or call, Lyman? Just to tell me you were still alive. Do you see a phone here? Or a post office? I'm sorry, I, I guess I just didn't think you'd believe what happened. What did happen? Sounds like we're in for a flashback scene. Get comfy, folks. I'll try to interpret what he says. As you may remember, I came down here to get a photo of the Zabadoo. Well, the group I was with wasn't getting anywhere, so you know me. I took a chance. I came out here on my own one afternoon. Big mistake. No luck. In fact, I was starting to believe there was no Zabadoo, that it really was just a legend. When suddenly, I couldn't believe it. But there it was, and it seemed like it was 10 feet tall. Quickly, I pointed my camera at it, making sure I was very quiet, but... Oh, what a time for my camera to jam! Whoa! Bigger mistake. I ran like crazy, trying to get away from the monster. And since I wasn't watching where I was going, I ran right off a cliff. Biggest mistake. Ah! I guess I was lucky. Being called running off a cliff lucky, Zabadoo didn't come after me. My only injury was a broken leg. Trouble is, I couldn't walk and there was no one for miles around. Help! Anyone! Help! I was there for hours when someone found me. You must have been scared. I don't know the meaning of the word scared. Unfortunately, I do know the meaning of the word terrified. And some of us know the meaning of the words getting hungry. I thought for sure I was a goner. But then, the oddest thing happened. Say so myself, and I often do. <laughs> oh, he's coming. Good. The detour sign's in place. Let's hide. <gasps> this way to enter contest for cutest kitten in the whole wide world. Well, that's moi. I didn't know about this contest, but I'll win it. I always do. <laughs> That's not funny, Garfield. Of course it's funny. It's just not funny to you. <laughs> <laughs> This isn't funny. Huh? Huh? Well, it looks like someone needs a bath. Yes, yes they we do. do. Stop sulking, Garfield. I know you don't like taking a bath. That's not true. I bathe once a year whether I need it or not. Oh, that must be Liz calling. Here, I'll leave you the loofah so you can scrub yourselves while I'm gone. Nah, this isn't so bad. Especially since I have my toy boat and my wind-up shark. Help! Shark! Shark! <laughs> I like this cool rubber mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Odie. Just trying to amuse myself. Taking a bath is so boring. That's because you don't know how to make it interesting. Make up a story. Make up a story. How do you do that? I'll show you. Want to play, Odie? <gasps> then follow me. <gasps> wow. Is it like 
like this at the bottom of every bathtub? It is if you use your imagination. Or even better, if you have your own cartoon show. <laughs> this is so cool! <laughs> hey Garfield, how come we can breathe and talk underwater? It's my fantasy, so I make up the laws of science. Hey, come on, let's check out the surface. <laughs> I can ride around like this all day. No, you can't. You see, the trouble with bubbles is might as well join them. Hey, recognize that boat coming towards us? Hmm. Just like your toy boat, the one that came with the... Start paddling. Faster, faster. Whoa, look, we're not going fast enough because we're too heavy in the water. Get rid of any non essential items. Good idea. Yeah. Yeah. It's a fantasy. And anyway, that's a toy shark. You wind him up, and he's only good for about 15 seconds. Uh, sorry to be a bother, but could someone wind me up again? Ah! Will you leave us alone if we do? Well, sure. Okay, then. <laughs> Thanks! You're welcome. <sighs> You're lucky that thing doesn't run on alkaline batteries. Well, okay, Garfield. Huh? This is your fantasy. What's next? Mm. What? <laughs> mm. Looks like flying fish. What? what? Hey, <laughs> you look like that thing John was using to scrub us. Just call me Lufa. You guys are a long way from your bathtub. Yeah. Any idea how we get back to it? I don't, but I'll bet the mermaids do. They live on the other side of Shampoo Island, past the giant faucet waterfalls. I'll be your guide. And how are we supposed to follow you? You can paddle, can't you? <laughs> In my fantasy, not gonna happen. I've got a much better idea. Step on it, Lufa. John is baking lasagna, and I'd hate to miss it. Almost there. Uh, look, the giant faucet waterfalls. Over there, that's where the mermaids hang out. But beware of their singing. Hey, I know this legend. You should beware of mermaids singing because it's so beautiful, it will lure you to crash your ship on the rocks. Look. No, beware of it because they're just kind of lousy. Enough to make me give up seafood. We have visitors. Lofa, who are your friends? I'll introduce us. I'm Garfield. This is Zodi. And I'm huh? Nermal, the cutest cat on land or sea. Remind me to leave you out of my next fantasy. What brings you here? Oh, this Lofa hmm. fish told us you could help us find our way back home. Oh, sure. We know how to. Wait, huh? sister! Why did you? It's, it's oh, not well, that. 
All right. Huh? Oh, well, you don't have to speak. We've discussed it. And we decided that we'll tell you how to get back to your tub. If you'll do something for us. Does it involve listening to you sing? No. Then we'll do uh, it. Our cove here is under siege. What? A terrible monster lurks about threatening all. Scaring no. everyone away. Get rid of it, and we'll tell you how to get home. Just a terrible monster? And what exactly is this terrible monster? It's... it's a... Rubber ducky! Wow. Right. How could a rubber huh? ducky hurt anyone? an idea. Lupa, here's what I need you to do. You understand? Got it! Ah! Come on, Lupa, hurry! Showtime! Thank you for getting rid of the rubber ducky. We never thought of using our singing to drive him away. <laughs> <laughs> we want you to have these seashell necklaces. And now we'll keep our promise. <laughs> <laughs> and tell you how to get back to your own bathtub. Come here. Really? <laughs> no. <laughs> wow. Thanks, ladies. <laughs> Before you go... Would you like us to sing you a farewell song? No! no. But thanks anyway. And thanks to you, too, Lufa. Have a happy journey home, guys. Come on, guys. Follow me. <laughs> Come on, guys. Give me a paw. It's no use, guys. We can't budget. Oh. Uh, hello? What? Can I help? Sure. Lend us your jaws. <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> Sorry, guys. Boy, that Liz really can get to talking sometimes. Huh? <gasps> I, I see someone unplugged the tub and let all the water out. But I guess you guys are clean. Huh? I'll go get some towels from the cupboard. Garfield, we're back! <sighs> Did any of that happen? <laughs> of course not. It was just a fantasy. And not a bad one, if I do say so myself. <gasps> oh, I think the lasagna's ready. Odie, do you think any of that really happened? Okay. And how do you explain these? <laughs> I kind of like them. 